And I do want to give, and it stinks you guys can't see me, but I do want to give Brenna a shout out. She's been really crushing it and bringing on new awesome coaches like you, Jackie. And I'm, I, are you to Emerald now for? No, not yet. <laughs> oh, no, you? sorry. I meant, um, I meant Brenna. Sorry. Like in, oh. <laughs> in his account now? Yeah, Jared's account. Right. Now. So you're Emerald and Jared's account too now, so that's awesome. Is he still thinking of working the business at some point? Um, probably not. <laughs> that was a great response. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe I'll convince him. Yeah. He shows my stuff to his friends at work, so I guess that's helping. Well, I guess good. it's kind of working the business. <laughs> nice. Hi, Laurie. You eating? I'm having camera issues, so sorry. You guys won't be able to see me. Um, trying to find my document from last time. Is there anything, Brenna, did you want to talk about anything? Is there anything you want to, like, follow up from our last call or, like, anything you wanted to add before I kind of jump into things a bit? And then we can talk about the exercise. Um, I mean, nothing off the top of my head. I think we covered a lot last week with, yeah, like, we definitely did. like, the importance of... I think stories are really important. I know like what what's even been helping me even this week is like post like putting like um interactive things in your stories. Like this morning I even like posted like my shoes were ripping and I said like does anyone have any like shoe recommendations and I actually had like a bunch of people who I didn't know respond and then that's just like an easy way to like start talking to people. Yeah, that's great. And that's what I'd love to chat about is like are people applying things and like feeling like you know, things are working for them or like what's working for you. I think that would be like really good. Like after our last call last time, like what people are doing differently. Yeah. And I use what I applied. I use, I started using that like cleaner app to like unfollow people, which is kind of sad, but it definitely helps because then you can follow way more people and get a feel for, cause it's not really like, I know it kind of sounds mean to like unfollow people, but you're just trying by doing that, you're finding the people who you're actually clicking with. And then you're able to follow more people and see who's going to actually follow your account back and right. then unfollow the people who don't. So it's like, um, I, I think that that's a huge thing you definitely should all do. Yeah. I still need to look into that. No. I'm really interested. Yeah, it's just kind of nice. So it, it goes through and tells you like who who isn't following you back or who isn't an active account or who isn't like liking your stuff all the time, like a ghost follower. And so then you can unfollow those people. Right. And then because I, I actually did watch another video. That's the um, video that I I posted in my page. I tagged Jackie and Cara in it because um, it was just a half hour video about Instagram tips. And it had a lot of like very specific to do's like she was saying, all right, try to follow a hundred people every day and comment on 50 pictures, which is pretty aggressive. Like for me, I don't think I have enough time to do all like that seems like the like, 50 comments is a lot, I think. <laughs> but yeah. I, I mean, it just gives you like an idea of what she does. So she, she would follow a hundred people every day, like Monday to Friday. And then um, I think like she said, every Sunday she would use that cleaner app. And then like after the, so after like the week, she would unfollow everyone who didn't follow her back. And then she'd like start over on Monday. And that's how she like really grew her account. Cause she has like 45,000 followers. So. <laughs> that's awesome. I feel like I need to get better at stories still. I feel like I like, still like struggle. Me yeah. <laughs> it's definitely hard. I think for me, it's a follow-up. It's like finding the time to like talk to people afterwards. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I definitely find that. My God. I think I like deleted the document from last week. I'm so mad right now. <laughs> I had like all these great apps to share with everyone. I'm going to have to like watch the video again and take notes. Um... Were they apps for like photo editing? Um, yeah, so they were like all the favorite apps that um, the video that I watched, like she uses. So she, it was like amazing. Like she gave like all these, and I'll, I can post it in the page. Um, I'll do it probably tomorrow morning for everyone. Um, I had it on my work computer. So, and I'm switching jobs. Like I'm 
tomorrow's my last day at my current company. So I like moved everything onto a hard drive and I think I must have like, I don't know what I did. I must have not moved or something, which is not great. Um, but we can also talk about, um, I don't know, Flory, anything, if there's anything you've been doing that you want to share differently, I know your posts have been amazing too. Um, and like how you guys are talking to people. Lori, did you decide to use any type of like sophomore? Did you join 21 social? No, I ended up going with Jumper Media instead. Um, just because I get, an, they have an assigned, they give you an assigned um, like account manager. Okay. Like an ongoing account manager. And they do like a whole, like a sort of um, review of your account. And I don't know. I just, it, it worked out better. I think money wise as well for me personally, but, um, so far so good. It started about two weeks ago now. Um, what has changed since like, has, has you, how many like more followers and stuff do you have? Do you feel like you're having like more conversations with people? I'm ha I have about four, I think I have about 400 more followers. Awesome. Um, but it's still a lot of work. Like you still have to go in and like interact and, um, some of the people I'm sure that you experience the same thing with your service. Like there's some people who are hit or miss. Yeah. Um, what does the service do? They find followers for you like organically. So they're, um, looking for people based on what you tell them that you're like, what your ideal target is. Um, they go in and find those people for you. So whether it's a hashtag or, um, like a certain lifestyle that you want them to target or age range or whatever, or multiple, th it can be multiple things as well. Um, they go in and find those followers for you versus like what I was doing before was like, you know, finding somebody and then like going through their profile and then f following their followers. If I, they looked like me or looked like someone I would vibe with and then waiting for them to turn around and follow me and whatever. <laughs> so it's definitely streamlined it a little bit, but it's still a lot of work because you still have to go in and interact with people. Um, you still have to create genuine connections. So, um, you know, there's no easy, there's no easy shortcut really, to be honest. So, um, Great. but it's nice because it's, it does, I feel like the more people you have, more eyes you have on your profile, the better it is. Um, so I'm excited for it. But um, one of the things I've started doing is because I am getting a lot of new followers every day um, is I try to, at the end of the day, like go in and see, like look at them. I, cause I don't, as soon as it pops up, I have to ignore my notifications. Otherwise it gets too crazy during the day. So at the end, the end of the day, I'll go in and check and see who started following me and then I'll go and check their profile and I'll try to, you know, start interacting with them. And if I think they're, um, which is, which is great, but then you have to keep track of who you're interacting with. So what I wanted to share with everyone is that there, I don't know if you guys are using this already or not, but when you go to someone's profile and let's say you're like, oh, she would make a really good coach. Um, if you like find their last, um, let's say you find their last post that you liked or commented on, you can click the little flag in the, um, the bottom corner to save it to a collection. And you guys might already be doing this, but so I'll save it to a collection and then I have, I've created collections for coach challengers. Um, and then people who I want to follow their followers in order to gain, you know, in order to find people who are like me. Ah, okay. That's awesome. Awesome. Like, Good idea. So I don't know if you can see that. Oh yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. I don't have recipes do too because I like recipes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Can you explain again how you do it? So, um, just pick someone, pick someone in your, um, like my messages. No, on their like feed. So oh. find, someone, find someone in your feed and you who maybe you might already be interacting with them. And then there's a little flag on the right hand right. side. If you click okay, that, it, 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 a little, um, at the bottom of their picture, it says save to collection. If right. you click save to collection and you, let's say you don't have any like tabs or you don't have any categories created. If you click it, it'll, there's a little plus sign. It says save to, and then plus you can create whatever sort of categories you want. Does that it make looks sense? like when you're in a message too, you can flag it, but then. You can flag messages. So I also do that. So, um, that just keep it at the top. 
Oh, no, it doesn't do it. it. No, it just. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, it makes it has a flag. I don't know if you yeah. can tell or not. But you can flag them, but then they, they're going to get pushed down the bottom as you interact with other people. But it's good because it's, it's kind of like highlighting them. So you know, like you can go really fast through your, like who you, you're chatting with. And oh, like yeah, okay. that's going to be super I gotta check out Desiree. Yeah. No, that's going to be super helpful for me because, so Brenda, I'm, I'm using a similar, I'm using a different company. They do the same thing. Um, I really like them. I found the girl, I used to follow like the girl on Instagram and it, her husband basically runs the business. Like they run it together, but he's pretty much the brains behind it. It's called 21 social. I can share the info with you. Um, so I have like 16,000 followers now and like, there's a lot of like great people and, but there's so much conversation and now I have, so what I set up was like an automatic response to them when they follow me. So it says, you know, it's, um, it's like kind of generic, but it's basically around like coaching and like me excited to like talk to them and offer them services if they're interested. Um, but what's happening is it's creating like a huge amount of messages in my inbox. So like sifting through it has been like pretty hard to like respond back to people. So like this marking the marking the um, messages is going to be so helpful, I feel like. So I know like who I need to get back to or not. And it's also helping me unfollow with stuff unfollow people like I told the company like I no longer want to be connecting with men because obviously that's not my target market and then I just get creepy messages from men um so I've been like trying to eliminate them so like if I see someone that I'm like no they're never going to be my target market they're never like you know I mean I at this point in my career as coaching like I'm being very specific with who I work with um because I've gone through not operating my business that way and it's just not really being that great for me because it's it really is difficult to coach people that I feel like you can't connect with and aren't similar to you um especially in coaching so I feel like it's giving me the opportunity to really like look through people and like check out their page and like unfollow them and get rid of them in my messages if I don't feel like they're not the right lead for me um but to Lori's point like this company is great because it gets you a lot more followers quickly you give them specific things to focus on so to make sure it's like your niche for the most part. I mean, I, I think a few people like get in there that aren't really your niche, but I think 80% of like the leads that you get are really positive. Um, but then it doesn't eliminate the work still of like having to talk to people and, you know, having conversations with them. So I feel like you still have to find the time to do the work, but yeah. But I feel like it, it could be something you'd want to invest in since you're focusing so much on Instagram right now. Mm -hmm. I know it definitely is tough. Like yesterday at work, I was on my phone way too much. <laughs> I was like, okay, I can't do that every day. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, you also have great hours though. I feel like that's great. Like you can get home and it's still a reasonable time like of, a, of day where you can still get a lot done, which is great. Yeah. And that's honestly, that's really why I work out in the morning too, because I want that time in the afternoon to right. be able to spend doing that. Cause it's like by the time if I got home and then worked out and I, I mean, I mean, I would still have time, but I, I would rather have that done and then be able to focus on doing the rest of it after work. Right. Um, Jackie, I know you're like just getting started and like, you know, feeling coaching out and everything, but do you get like more excited about Instagram or Facebook or what do you think that like you'll probably use the most? Is it Instagram? It's Instagram. Facebook, yeah. I'm not even leaning towards. Um, so I just want that to be like my personal like stuff, but, um, mm -hmm. Instagram, I feel like I connect more with people and I, I like it a lot. I think it's, um, just easier for me because I'm 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 always on it and everything. So right, um, I really like it. I think that's it's so funny because I work with some girl. Like I have a great like group of friends at work and my day job. And there's some girls that are only slightly younger than me, and they're like, "Oh my god, Facebook! Like I canceled my account years ago. I never go on it." And I was like, mm -hmm. so shocked. You can't see my face <laughs> right now, but I was like, so surprised. I was like, really? People don't use Facebook anymore. Like, I didn't think it was, like, that of an old thing at this point. Like, I don't know. Apparently it is. So, that's definitely something I'm taking into consideration because I feel like... Yeah, Instagram, I really, the only thing I use Facebook for pretty much is just to run these groups. Yeah, that's the only reason why I check it is, like, all the notification from you guys and all the groups. Like, that's the only way yeah. I go on it. And it's a good point. One of the things, so, like, Brenda and I have been, like, putting together... Um, 
a coach sneak peeks that everyone can utilize if you guys want to. And just thinking through like, and I know like Jackie tonight, perfect example where you're like, I can't find this. Where in the team page is it? Like you can now tag topics, mm -hmm. but it's still kind of annoying. So I'm thinking of, especially for people who aren't on Facebook all day, like setting up some kind of Google folder for our team on Google Drive and like having a monthly, basically a monthly folder that's like a monthly calendar and like our monthly group or whatever it may be that everyone can utilize and you can go there to look for things instead of always feeling like you have to go to the team page and then not feeling like you can find anything. I think it would, cause I don't mind doing it cause I keep everything on Google drive anyway. So it's not like it's more work for me, but I just feel like it will give other people another option to like find resources. Yeah. You know I mean? And I, I even, I uploaded some of my stuff onto a Google drive that I actually, I kind of forgot about this, that I shared with um, some of uh, my coaches because I had made PDFs. Like I made like a little, like, coaching PDF that you can send out to people like to give them more info and you couldn't I couldn't post a PDF on Facebook like it wouldn't post as a PDF huh so I had to post it as like individual pictures onto Facebook and I was like well this doesn't seem like it makes any sense yeah I don't yeah. know why that was gonna be weird you can post a document but you couldn't post a PDF so I was like okay so then I that's why I put it in a Google Drive but. yeah I think Google's fantastic I'm like still kind of old school where I like get scared to trust digital like too much and like I'm like what if Google goes away and everything like is gone but it probably won't happen so it's fine yeah um so since I couldn't find my document I went back into the presentation um because she actually put a pre like a presentation together so I don't have to listen to it to give you guys these apps um Cause I want, I want us all to start using them and kind of like share what's working. Like, what do we love? I think some of these things are like sometimes more user friendly for some people than others. Like perfect example, like pick monkey. I used to use all the time for pictures. It always like made sense to me. Um, and one of my coaches who was not a coach anymore, Lindsay loves like canva.com. Um, and I have such a hard time with Canva. Like that's what all the coaches are using, but for some reason it's not very like straightforward for me. Um, so I'd love to get like, you know, the team working with these different apps and stuff. And then maybe we can like, if there's one you love and you feel like you're an expert in it, like you can share with the team, like, this is how I'm using it. This is why I love it just to like help each other. So we don't all have to feel like experts and we can bring like different things to the table. Um, and again, I'll share this. I'll actually take a screenshot of this and share it, but I'm just going to give you guys these too. Cause she said, so so basically she's like, this is top secret. Like a lot of people don't know about these apps, I guess. Um, there are things that she's found. Maybe you do, but so one of them is called hype type. Um, so H Y P E T Y P E. Actually, you know what? I could probably share my screen. Oh wait, I don't know. Well then let me do that. If my video is not working. It's funny. You said that about Canva cause that's the only uh, website that I've used. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's what I used um, to make the, the pdfs that I've made or like even just the pictures and stuff but I I haven't like done I'm okay with it but I'm still learning for sure I haven't done it on my phone I've only done it on my laptop all right can you guys see my screen yeah cool yep. so so this is it um so yeah so the hype type was the one I was saying on the top one so it's helpful too because she's like use this for music or words um, so it's like to make things interesting. And then she said, oh, you thing. can add music to an Instagram video using that. Yeah. That's so cool. And I think she was saying that it's like approved music too. So like you don't run any issues because you know, like there's social media platforms that like won't allow you to have music. Um, so this cut story, cause, and I'm always trying to find great, cause I've tried to use like video cutting tools before that I hate. They just don't work well for me. So she's saying this one's amazing for the cut along video into 15 second clips. So that's what she uses for like her IG stories, I think, because you can only have them be so long. Um, so over, she's saying you create cool layouts for your story. And she went into detail and I did take notes as to like, I could actually play this and see if you guys can hear it. Just this part. Of my bonus apps that I that? love, obviously I said hype type adds music and words. If you ever want to put a full grid on your wall, on your IG wall, 
you know, where it's like, say it's a picture routine and you're all in the cute tank tops, like jumping up on the beach or something at a retreat, you can put that full story, um, and not story, I just looked over my phone, sorry. You can put that full picture on your IG wall and it takes up like six to nine grids, which is really cool looking. Um, another one is cut story. If you want to cut a long video into 15 second clips, you can do that as well. Um, over is it allows you to create cool layouts for your story. So if you wanted to do multiple pictures and create basically a collage, um, you can do that on over. And then another one that I love is unfold. And that allows you to create stories with cool layouts with multiple videos and photos. So for example, I had one um, story where I was doing, I had already done my pre-workout, you know, my typical pre-workout story. And then I was doing the move from AV, some move from AV obsession, and I put like total car body core day or whatever. And then the top left hand corner, I put the previous snap of me snap, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> story, um, of me taking my pre-workout and beside it I put it's working. So you can overlay that video with a picture on it. It's pretty cool. And then one of my favorites is InShot. It allows you to add um, tons of borders on there. There's unique gifts on there. Um, all of the social media emojis are on there. Stickers, I'm sorry, social media stickers. And then you can also do voiceovers on videos. So if you're doing like an instructional thing, like this is how I make my shake, you can literally record the whole process and then do an over a voiceover so that you don't have to focus on two things at one time. So that's pretty cool. Um, obviously you guys know, I'm getting to like the main course of this. So I, we don't need to watch this all, but I thought that was super cool because I'm always looking for like really great apps to use. Um, to make things more exciting. I feel like I'm constantly always doing like the same thing. Um, and those grab like, for those that don't follow for if you guys aren't following her yet, like Jatana Jackson, like literally crushes it. Like she's known in the company as being like the IG guru, guru or at least one of them. So I definitely highly recommend following her. She's just you know, and part, of, and I talked about this last week, but part of it, like, I want to make sure people don't try to mimic her because, and like, they're true to who they are. But what I mean is just like to get ideas of like how she brings herself to life, and she's just like fun, and she puts herself out there. If you're not like that fun person, obviously you can be more serious. But um, I think she does a really good job at you know keeping things consistent with who she is, making it interesting, so you want to watch her stories every day and see what what she's doing. Um, yeah, and you know, and I gave good tips last week about like what things to focus on. Um, this this right here, we talked about like content ideas, which again I think is always helpful. And um, and I can take screenshots of this so you guys don't have to go through here because I think they're just little good tools to even print out and like have at your desk or wherever you work to like, remind yourself like I can make a video about cooking a meal or like make a you know, I can talk about like smoothies and see if people are interested because then maybe they'd like Shakeology. So like little ways to get people interested and not really talk about the products we have to offer, but, you know, just kind of get people's attention. And if they are shake type of person, then they'll probably like Shakeology. So, so she has a lot of great tips in here. I really like her. I thought this um, entire video was like super helpful. So it's in the page too. Like you guys can definitely watch it on your own time. Um, but the apps was one of the big things that I didn't share last time that I wanted to share with you. Yeah, really cool. There's one other app that I have. Um, it's called, um, I don't really know how to pronounce it. Unum, like U-N-U-M. And, and it just allows you to like see your whole, um, what do you call it? Your grid. Like, so if you want to, like, if you're putting it up a new picture and you don't know how that's going to look with the rest of your pictures, like, you can see your whole grid and, like, test out different pictures to see what'll look nice. So you're, like, oh, your whole page. That's super work. cool. Yeah, it's really simple, but, I mean, it's free out. I use it sometimes because I'm like, oh, well, like, this picture's kind of dark. Like, will it look weird because my last picture I posted was kind of dark? You know, like, so yeah. you can, like, get your good color theme and stuff. Yeah, there are a lot of, I mean, they, there's a lot of, like, most coaches will say you should use, like, the same app to make the lighting the same, so it's always, like, similar, so you always have that progression along your page, but with that yeah. said, I've seen pages where, like, that's not the case, and it still looks fine. Yeah. I used to have a way more organized, um, 
like content calendar look, I guess you could say, like, because like I would do an image of me working out and then I would do like a lifestyle image, which could be like me out or doing something or a recipe or something. And then I had like a quote, um, like with a white background or something, like it was just a like quote of the day thing. And for me, like, I didn't love it. It I, like didn't feel natural to me. I had a hard time. Like I, I found myself not posting because I like wouldn't have a great quote to use or something. So so yeah, I think it's good to like, like I, for me, it kind of works more to just like post random things. Like I try to get all the same lighting, but I think it's important to really think about like who I am, who you are, like what kind of vibes do you want to give? Like, I think it's good to have like a very organized page if you're a very organized person and you're trying to attract people who are that way, you know? Yeah, no, I definitely agree with that. Cause when I see those Instagrams that are like completely perfect, I'm like, okay. Yeah, like, like, it doesn't even seem like real people to me. Like, I would much rather right. look at one that has, like, fun things. I still, like, I, I, what I try to do with mine is, like, just to make sure all the, like, I want it still to look nice, but I definitely agree with you in, like, right. it's yeah, it doesn't need to nice. be all, like, literally every single picture I'm wearing, like, gray and black. Like, yeah, I think that's exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember the girl you told me about, and I looked her up, and, she, like, that was her. She was, like, every yeah. picture is professional it's always the same color scheme it's always perfect and like literally yeah. because of my personality and I used to be well I still am to some extent a perfectionist and like literally like trying not to be like that gave me anxiety like when I look at pages like that I'm just like because then I'm like oh I would love that but it's like so much work and I know I'm not gonna be able to do it so yeah, I look at that yeah. and I'm like how the heck did you not have you how have you taken that many pictures in different places that don't have any other color in them right. <laughs> Like, it's amazing to me. <laughs> like, a perfect example, and I know you love her, is, like, Amy Rada. Like, I'm looking at her page, and, like, it's it's like mine. There's, like, a bunch of, like, it's all random shit, right? But, like, the color yeah. is good. Like, they're yeah, good. Everything, colors. it's, like, it's all different, but everything's, like, bright and colorful. Right. That, so, so it, it, it does have, like, some sort of theme, but it's, like, that's what the theme is. Like, bright, colorful, kind of random. Right. That, that's what I like. Right. So yeah, so I mean, and if, and I don't mean to talk bad about like the perfection, if that works for someone, that's great. Like I tried to do it and it didn't work well for me. So um, yeah. honestly, it's like whatever works for everyone. And actually, I feel like that brings us nicely into this little how to fascinate project. Um, because mine was like super spot on. I felt like I got prestige and passion and like those words don't really mean much to me. But like when I read what like was broken down, um, it just was like spot on for me, I felt like, and I think it will help me like post about like who I am and like the people that I want to attract. Um, but I'd love to hear like how you thought about it, if you did it and if you feel like it's helpful. Um, I did do it. I need it. I know I did it now. I, yeah, that was like two now. weeks ago or a week ago. I need to look at it again, but Yeah, I think like, I don't know, there's just little things like I'm motivated by a competitive spirit and a determined outlook. Like, so I know that I should like talk more about that with people. Like I am super competitive and like sometimes you don't want to talk about that because I feel like it can be looked at as negative. But like if those are the type of, if like if I want, I would love to attract more people that are competitive because I think it would make the team for me fun because they'd want to engage in these types of challenges and exercises and stuff and I can relate to that for someone that's like trying to steer away from that yeah. um so yeah so I, th I think it's um like one of them is like I'm attuned to all of the five senses like I'm a very like self-aware person and like very detail oriented about things around me and I notice things so I just thought that was really cool too um yeah, so there are just like a lot, of, I just felt like there were things that I really, it made me kind of think about who I am that I don't typically do, like kind of beyond the things that are, that the things that you know that you post about every day. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I didn't take it a step further to like look at, I don't know what the whole upgrade was, if anyone did that. Um, but yeah, there's, there's several different quizzes out there that you can do that are interesting to kind of learn about yourself or like branding yourself. Um, you know, I feel like we've had conversations on the team before and I feel like some people take more of an interest in it than others. 
Um, I do think it's important because it gives you an opportunity, like I said, to focus kind of on the people that you're talking to and knowing what you're saying and keeping things consistent so people know what they're going to get to some extent. They're not like, oh my God, who's Heather going to be today? Um, <laughs> but that's really like what I wanted to chat about tonight. I wanted to talk about that assessment because I thought that was fun. And I wanted to share those apps with you, you guys, um, and talk about, you know, are you guys doing anything to boost and get more followers? Um, how are you feeling of like, oh, implementing the things that we talked about a few weeks ago? Um, and that, cause again, I know like I still have a lot of work to do. I mean, for me, it's really like finding time to respond back to people and making sure that I'm like choosing the people. Like I think it's two things. Like I'm trying to be like picky about looking at someone's page, seeing if I feel like they're my tribe and then I'll contact them instead of just contacting people to contact people. Cause I just yeah. feel like it's just not a good lead at that point. Yeah, I've been, I mostly look through people who like, either like my picture or watch my story. And then that's who I've been um, reaching out to. Like, and then, well, I mean, obviously then I'd look at their page and then I'd reach out to them. But I also generally, like when I'm going through, cause I mean, I, I just follow people myself, but when I go through and follow people, I try to follow more like regular people like that seem like they're either like at my level like not the people that have like like 30,000 followers already and like look like they have big professional websites right mo like yeah, mo like I mean they probably won't follow me back or like answer my message one but also I just don't know if I would like click with them as much like I try to find people who I think like are like me like uh Lori was saying and then that's who I message and that's who I follow. And I feel like that's, um, I don't know if that's the best way to grow my, like get the most followers, but I think that that's the best way for me right now to get the most, um, like the best quality followers. Yeah, like engagement. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. And that's what like everyone has to think about too, as far as like, like for me, I mean, I'm getting a lot of followers cause I'm working with this company and that's like partly what they do is what's helping me. But it's not really my end goal. Like my end goal was to get more leads and to get to find more people that are like my tribe that I get excited like about talking with and like having more conversations with people. Um, one of the things I'd still love to talk about as a team, if people feel like they're doing a great job at it, because I definitely don't feel like I am, is like how to convert. Like once someone's like ready to purchase something since it's Instagram and it's not email and like you, you can't really send someone like a document, like how are you guys handling that? Like, are you asking for their email? So then you can follow up on email and then you've captured their email. Oh, no, Heather, are you still there? Oh wait, is my thing no. frozen? You might be frozen. I don't, I don't think I froze. Mm -mm. You didn't freeze. Okay. Um, so okay. yeah, so I'd love to know if you guys are like, do, do you ask for their email? Do you send them a link to like Beachbody? Like, cause you, I know you can like put things in a share cart and send that to them. Um, I use share cart and I ask for their emails. Okay. So you do both. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean to, to do share cart, you need their yeah. email. Yeah. You need their email. But also, I mean, a lot of the time, well, I've been trying to talk to more people just about coaching right now. Um, and when I do that, I usually ask for their email because also you can't send things like that. Like I couldn't send them a PDF on Instagram. Well, that's the thing. And that's why like, I don't, I don't even feel like I'd ever, I mean, it depends. It depends on the conversation. I feel like at this point, I always just recommend bot instead of a specific program right away. Um, but there's a few people that I feel like I want to send like information on a specific program. And typically I would send a document and I can't do that through IG. So I've asked for their email. Yeah, that's what I usually do. I say, well, and that, I mean, that kind of shows how interested they are too. Like if, I mean, I mean, no one's ever said, no, I'm not going to give you my email, yeah. but I mean, usually they're like, I I'll say like, Oh, do you want more information? Like, uh, can I have your email? I'll, I'll send you some stuff. And they're like, Oh yeah, great. Here's my email. Cool. So, I mean, that's what's been happening for me. Yeah. And it's interesting, like link tree, like I have a link tree. If you guys know what that is, um, yeah, you can have like forms people fill out and then like capturing their email and then you send them information. 
for some reason, my like people don't love to use that. I feel like, I don't know if I'm like saying the wrong thing or like, it's too confusing. I need to like evaluate it. Cause I feel like it doesn't work for me. Lori, are you, was that face like doesn't work for you either? Like, I no, I've only had like two people fill it out in the last nine months. Yeah. yeah <laughs> so. I, made, I made one basically just because I saw everyone else had one. And I thought like I needed one in my profile link and no one's filled it out. Now, part of it could be that also I haven't been talking to the right people because I think I've only converted like, you know, like three people from Instagram ever. Yeah. And that was like probably a fluke. So now that I feel like I'm tired and like being a little more strategic about who I'm trying to talk to, I don't know. It could happen that that using Linktree speaks to people more. But I think, yeah, I think the nice thing about IG is that I think a lot of people want the interaction. So mm. Like I tried to direct a woman who I had not started a conversation with. I was like, oh, just go fill out my form. That's link at the link in my bio. And like two days went by and I was like, okay, let's go back to square one. I was like, okay, so hey, just check it in. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, let's try this again. You didn't fill out the form, but I didn't say that. I was just like, so what are your goals? <laughs> and that's a good point to like not force something that's working for other people if it's not working for you. Like Haley Christian crushed it with Linktree. But I also think her target market is like, bartenders and hairdressers and people that like are like crying for help and not as skeptical whereas like my tribe like I'm super skeptical if someone sent me that form I'd be like what the hell is this why can't you just talk to me like just send me an email or you know what I mean so and I really that I just actually had that epiphany now um that was probably why it doesn't work is because it just it's just another step for people they're like why is this happening um you know, I'd rather just like get on the phone with someone or have them be more direct with me, I guess. So yeah, I guess it, it's helpful to know like is that it's helpful to put yourself in people's shoes and say, would I fill out that form? Like, is that something that I would do? Yeah. Um, yeah. I know. I on, I think I might just take it off. Well, I honestly, I, and I don't know how to like, I've never even thought when I talk to people, I just ask for their email and email them. I, I kind of, for I wouldn't even pop into my mind to be like, oh, fill out the form, <laughs> which I mean, makes perfect sense because that's why it's there. <laughs> but. Right. Yeah. I mean, I like the options it provides people. It just like, and I've tried to switch mine up several times. I'm like, oh, maybe my content's not great. Or like, maybe, maybe it's the name I'm putting on there, but it doesn't seem to be clicking. So, so I don't know, but. I think it's about, yeah, finding what works for us. Um, and that's helpful. I, yeah, that was one of my major things I want to ask you guys too, is like how you're, like when you're getting to the point of the sale in Instagram, like how you're dealing with that. So it seems like par on with what I've been doing. So that's. Yeah, that's generally what I do. And then what, and then if they do sign up, I'll give them my phone number too, if they didn't have it. Yeah. So then we can get off of Instagram chats. Right. I think that's all I have guys. I don't know if anyone else wants to give any more tips. There's definitely more. I can share a few things on the page. Like I had mentioned for everyone, I'll share this video. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think Instagram is such a great topic. I don't, you know, we don't need to continue to keep talking about the team call necessarily, but I feel like we should continue to talk about it in the page and like share it sharing how things are going and like if if you something like really clicked for you and you felt like you know this is something i should share with the team like definitely share it in the page um because i feel like it will help everyone you know and again not be, because something doesn't work like some because of something works for me doesn't mean it'll work for you but i think it's like kind of a trial and error thing it's like you just have to like put it out there and see um like i feel like Lori, you've been like so like good about like posting quotes lately and I feel like it speaks to you and stuff. So I feel like that's like a really great thing for you to stick with, you know? Yeah. I think it's like something I just fall back on. I'm like, I don't know what to post today. Let me post a quote. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, but, uh, yeah. but it seems natural. It doesn't seem like you like overthink it or, you know. Yeah. I definitely have to put a little more, um, it's funny. I just signed up someone in another group I'm, I'm in, someone was offering like a free, like, content creator calendar or something so I was like I need that because <laughs> sometimes mm -hmm. I will create a calendar and then not stick with it and the reason I won't stick with it is because something else will strike me as being like more important to share or um it does or it feels forced or whatever so um 
it'll be interesting to see what this girl sends me and I'll share it if it's any while, but um, yeah, content can be a struggle sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I feel the same way. I struggle with sticking to these. I mean, it's somewhat my personality because I'm just like unorganized and all over the place. Um, but in some of it's like, to your point, like something will happen and I'm like, oh, I really want to share that. But I'm like, oh, my calendar tells me today that I'm supposed to share that. So I think, yeah, it's like, how disciplined do you want to be with it? And does that make sense? Like what I was saying earlier, like, does that make sense for you? Um, but I will say, I feel like calendars help with having an idea of what posts, like, that's the one thing I do love about them. Cause I'm like, oh, okay. Like when I don't have something to post it gives me something to post about but I always feel like it feels forced too I don't know mm -hmm. I'm also not like the most organized person like well, you try to... yeah for me I think it's better to just kind of go with the flow like you said there I, I like having I want to try to hit all the different themes and like and just but also it's the same it's like when with content it's hard to be able to have that specifically every day like, well, I have, this is the picture I have, and this is what I'm going to post today. <laughs> so I guess I'll try to do the other thing tomorrow. But I mean, I think as I want to try to get more pictures, I've been getting much better about taking pictures and videos and things like that, because that was definitely my biggest struggle at the beginning. I think you're amazing for never have taken a selfie before starting this. And you've only been mm -hmm. doing this for what, like, a month or something <laughs> it, it was like really hard i've watched so many i didn't even realize how big how complicated instagram was <laughs> like how much time people i was like it was like blowing my mind but it's definitely a lot to learn yeah there's so many different things you got to think about and well the thing is too it's constantly changing too right you yeah. know there's always something new take like they're changing the algorithm or like there's always something else so like staying on top of that's so important too um but i feel like there's so many resources out there and i feel like the coaches that are really great at it always try to like give us you know updated videos and stuff and hope summit's great for that reason because when they you know it's always a topic now um and how things are evolving, changing. So, so I think that's always positive. Oh, Jackie, did you get your ticket? Oh no, I, I didn't. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it right now, honestly, because last time was I just forgot. And when did you sign up, Jackie? I can't remember. Uh, I'm on. I think like eight weeks ago, because I'm on week eight of Lyft. So. Yeah, uh, definitely get your ticket because I think the prices are great right now. And we had so yeah. much fun there last year. Like, I was like, Indianapolis, like, why are we going there? This is stupid. Um, but honestly, we <laughs> had a blast. It was so fun. Yeah, I'm excited. It'll be fun. I want to try to get as many people as we can because it's just, like, way more fun with a big group. Yeah, definitely. And I know, so we were talking the other day about room. So like, if you guys can get a room, I, right, I recommend still getting like, we're all, a lot of us are in the same hotel. So that's great. And we obviously can share rooms, at least like four people to a room. Um, the reason why I'm saying like, maybe even consider getting one if you can, because you can cancel it. Like there's a date up to a certain point that you can cancel and then you get your money back. So um, I, I just would rather not I'd rather have too many and we have to get rid of some than not have enough, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we can figure that out. We always do. Um, but I'm excited. I hope we can get a bunch of people too. And then we'll, we'll get some great team shirts made. It'll be so fun. <laughs> the super workout is so amazing. Lori knows. It's such an incredible experience. It's like the best thing ever. It's literally a super workout. It's like two hours straight. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was like an hour. 20,000 <laughs> on stage i was like oh, i'm so tired <laughs> awesome awesome well so good to see you ladies sorry you couldn't see me that's annoying i will get that fixed for next week for sure um and let me get, let me know guys if there's any like topic that you would love to chat about next week yes maybe okay. we should talk about um like goals and stuff for november since yeah. it's already going to be november well it'll be the 30th right because if we yeah, do Thursday, yeah, Thursday is November. So yeah, so we'll, we'll go back to Tuesday. So we'll do the 30th. Yeah, we can talk about November goals. And I would like everyone to do a dream board too. I know I need to update mine. Because I think they really are so powerful and visual and it just could get you excited every day to like, you know, work on your goals. And 
Um, so yeah, I think that's a really great topic. All right, because awesome. we have big goals. Yeah. All right, have a good night, ladies. Good night. Bye. Bye.